Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to take up a very important topic. We are going to discuss the knapsack problem. Basically, I'm going to solve a numerical from GATE 2018, which, uh, you know, tests the concept of greedy algorithm and optimal algorithm approach to knapsack problem. So in this question, we are going to uh, discuss about greedy and optimal in brief and then we are going to check how these two approaches differ in solving this question and also in this question they have actually asked the difference between the profit that you earn by solving these two methods so let's see how we solve this question So let's so let's quickly go through the question, what the question says and what do we need to do to solve the question. So they say that consider the weights and value items listed below. So they have these weights, these, these values of four items that they have written over here. And they say that not, note that there is only one unit of each item, okay, only one unit. Then they say the task is to pick a subset of these items such that their total weight is no more than 11 kgs. So there is a constraint over here that total weight is no more than 11 kgs. So as you had in the knapsack problem, the bag used to be the uh, Basically, the quantity or the weight that you can put in the bag was fixed. So over here, it is same as 11 kgs and the total value needs to be maximized. Okay, then moreover, no item may be split. So here they differentiate, they clearly specify that you cannot split the item. So this is not fractional, right? This is the form of 0-1 knapsack that you had studied. Then they say the total value of items picked by an optimal algorithm is denoted by V opt. Okay, a greedy algorithm sorts the items. Now they have specified the greedy algorithm in brief over here in the question. A greedy algorithm sorts the items by their value to weight ratios in descending order and packs them greedily starting from the first item in the ordered list. The total value of the items picked by the greedy algorithm is denoted by V greedy. Then the value of V opt minus V greedy is. You need to find the value of V opt minus V greedy. Now, uh, important uh, re uh, recall back of greedy and optimal algorithm. What is the basic difference between both of them? Greedy, it has already defined that you need to sort the items in value to weight ratio and once you pick and you always pick the item with the maximum value to weight ratio and then you decide for the next items depending upon the weight left in your bag okay we're going to take this in detail when we solve the question next what about the optimal algorithm now greedy as you can see once you have picked an item you cannot change the item obviously there is a, there is this constraint that you have to have to pick the item with the maximum value to weight ratio right Ma the one item which will have this maximum value for value to weight you'll obviously going to pick that item first okay and then you're going to decide for the rest of the items again using the same rule but optimal does not have any such constraint it considers all the various possibilities of different item combinations and then chooses the combination which gives it the maximum value that is its major go goal or motive you can say okay so that was a just quick review or, or the difference between both now let's see how we solve this question so first obviously using the greedy approach i have to sort them using value to weight ratio so first of all i compute value to weight ratio for all these items one two three four so these are the values as you can see simply picked from the table and divided by their weights i am computing value to weight ratio next is i need to sort them using these ratios that i've computed right so i sort them and i have written these as the indexes of indexes of the items okay so for example the over here the maximum value that i'm getting for value to weight ratio is this one which is for the fourth item so i've written 
now also they've specified that you need to sort that in descending order order right over here so that is why i have taken fourth i have you know sorted that in descending order so i've taken fourth item over here first i placed it at the first position then obviously the next item is this which is having the value as six value to weight ratio value as six so the first item next and then the third item and then finally the second item so now greedy is what it is going to do it is definitely going to choose the first item and then it is going to decide for the next items also it can choose the first item if and only if its weight is less than 11 kgs which is the constraint 11 kgs is the constraint for the maximum weights that it can the sum of the, uh, weights of the items that it can choose so i have also you know i have also listed the weights of each of these items uh, which have which are being placed like these arrows so these are the weights of these items corresponding to them i have placed that so i have written that the constraints are that maximum weight is 11 kgs and no item can be split that is another important constraint now uh, just uh, we start by we start choosing the items using greedy algorithm so i choose the fourth item and after choosing the fourth item which had weight of 2 kgs i am left with how much weight 11 minus 2 which is 9 so i can only choose the items which have weight less than or equal to 9 kgs now if you check about the first item over here which is the next item that we should take its weight is 10 kgs so i cannot take that right so that is what i've written over here i cannot take the first item over here so i'll have to choose the third item which has weight 4 now with this item uh, i'll also subtract 4 4 uh, kg which is the weight of this item which is the third item and i am left with how much i am left with only 5 kgs which i can choose now and again if you go through this order over here you had to choose this second item next which has weight 7 kgs but you are left with the constraint of only 5 kgs more so therefore you cannot choose this uh, second item so the only items that you could choose using the greedy approach was the fourth item and the third item now next thing is just to sum up the values corresponding to these items okay so you can either check the table or also this table okay so we'll have a clearer look over here third and fourth item the weights are 20 uh, sorry the value uh, values are 20 and 24 in rupees so the v greedy that you had to compute v greedy if i write it over here greedy is 20 plus 24 which is 44 rupees right so that is the value for v greedy now we need to check for v opt so now we check for v opt now, as I said, V opt considers all the possible combinations to maximize the profit. So I start by checking the various combinations. Okay. So uh, yeah, I start with item one. If I choose item one, its weight is 10 kgs. I cannot, I cannot choose any other item because there is no other item with weight equals to one kg, right? So if I choose item one of weight 10 kg my profit is only going to be 60 okay my profit is 60 my value over here is 60 then i go to item uh, i go to the next combination which is if i choose item 2 its weight is 7 right i can choose item 3 with it or i can choose item 4 with it right uh, i can also choose yeah i cannot choose item one with it because then the total weight becomes 17 so if i choose two and three my total weight over here becomes seven plus four which is 11 which is the best fit for the uh, bag but that is not our objective over here and the net profit over here becomes 28 plus 20 which is 48 and for 2 and 4 total weight becomes 7 plus 2 which is 9 and the total profit becomes 28 plus 24 which is 52 similarly for 3 and 4 the total weight becomes 6 and the profit becomes 
44 which is same as v greedy so the maximum value which i'm getting over here is with the item 1 which is 60 so v opt is 60 over here then the final answer that you need to compute over here is v opt minus v greedy which is 60 minus 44 which is 16 so the final answer for this particular question is 16 that i'll write over here and this is how we solve such question so that's all for this particular session um, if you have any doubts you are uh, very well free to post them as comments in the comment section below thank you hope you liked this video in case you did please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to support the channel also, if you're the one who has not subscribed to my channel but would like to see more of such videos, please press the subscribe icon and also click this bell icon to get notified with my latest videos. Share as much as you can to spread the knowledge to the world. I'll be back with more of such videos. Till then, stay tuned, stay healthy, keep learning. Thank you.